the young prince was known here and there and just about everywhere else as Prince Brat. Not even black cats would cross his path. One night, the tutor, Master Peckwit, bellowed, You fiddle faddle scholar! One day you'll be king! You still don't know the alphabet from pit tracks! <laughs> I can always get someone to read for me. It'll be easier to educate a boy on cabbage. Prepare to be punished, your lordship. On a ten wax at least. And good part, if you please. <laughs> prince Brat had nothing to fear. He had never been spanked in his life. He was a prince, and it was forbidden to whip a prince. Jemmy, a common boy, was kept in the castle to be punished in his place. Thanks to whipping, boy! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, me boy? <sighs> Ain't I already been whipped twice today? What's the prince done now? Let's not keep him waiting, lad. <laughs> Jeffy didn't bawl, he didn't yelp or bellow. Ten wax, and not a sound escaped his lips. You're the worst whipping boy I ever had. A whipping boy is supposed to yell like a stuck pig. How come you never bawl? It's never fun if you don't bawl. <laughs> I don't know. Jeffy was determined never to scream a tear for the prince to gloat over. I'm onto you, Jeffy, from the streets. It's pure spite that you won't howl. Think you can cross me and get away with it? Ha! Huh? And so it went for more than a year. The prince learned nothing. The whipping boy learned to read and write. Prince Brat was hated by all and favored by none. Jemmy, before his life in the castle, worked as a rat catcher. But then he was taken from town to be the prince's whipping boy. One night, the prince got so bored, he decided to run away taking Jemmy with him. Out of the tangled trees of the forest, leaped two murderous thieves, cut water, and hold your nose, Billy. And they seized the two boys. Little did the highwaymen know that they seized the prince himself. The Whipping Boy by Sid Fleischman. <laughs> Rascal. I'm not much of a catch to sparrows. <laughs> I don't think trimmed up in fancy rags cut water. How <laughs> <No>, ain't that? <laughs> Put some gold in your pockets, lads. No business of yours. Ah, but so help me, it is my business. <laughs> you never heard of Hold Your Nose Billy? <laughs> the murderer? Only in the line of duty. Well, <laughs> 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 if we check your horse, down to your pockets. Not a copper between us. What's in the basket? I'm soft villain. Don't you know who I am? Not a word. Bow to your prince. <laughs> Bow to what? I am Prince Horace. Again, I'm the grand turnip of China. <laughs> <laughs> themselves up to flummox us. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I'm a mere whipping boy. Ah, you take this for bedrock numbskulls. Send this H's H. You're the prince. 
the genuine straight up and down royal highness. That ratty street orphan, that low born, silence. Can you see the game is up? They're on to us. Put your tongue with this surly boy. Dare you address me? Bang your head. Give him a kick, cup water, if you hear another peep out of him. Hand me the hot will. I'll write my papa. The king. <laughs> <laughs> Your obedient son, Prince Horace. Aye, oh, that's a ticket. <laughs> All we got to do is figure out how to get this to the king. <laughs> Nap in the act. Oh, simple. My horse, one of the king's own. I'll just skip. Oh, he's find his way home. That fine beast will make for the castle stables. No questions asked. <clears throat> As soon as I'm within a squint of the castle, I'll turn this beast loose. Cutwater gave his heavy partner a foot up into the royal saddle. <laughs> In the rickety timbered hut, Jemmy's eyes swung to the doorway. He flung open the door and ran, with Prince Brat following in his tracks. By early morning, Jemmy caught sight of the road to the city. Lay off! Look here. I can't have you sticking to me like a barnacle. And you had a snap full of running away. Go back to the castle. I'll go back to the castle unless you go with me. And I won't go back unless I want to. Prince, look! Prince, sold to gypsies. Sold to gypsies! With me, boy. Me? Charged with a dastardly scheme. King offers reward for the unspeakable rascal. Me. And you've done enough. You've got a price for my head. Go home and, and go to blazes. But you're my friend. Don't count on it. Your pa must be having a gory eye fit. Uh, positively. But this is the first time no one has had fits because I got my clothes all grimy and ripped to tatters. This is the best time I ever had. <laughs> prince, the highwaymen. Got water, the prince, and the whipping boy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you me, did you, prince, rat? Uh, here's the whipping boy. You won't never forget. Uh, here's the whipping boy. <laughs> Thanks to you. The king thanks you. 
I will place him under Prince's protection under one condition. He has promised to do his lessons and otherwise behave himself. The Prince must want me for a friend awful bad to promise all that. <laughs> if it's a friend he ran off looking for, it's a friend he found. Dismissed, both of you. But do change out of those smelly clothes. You got me off without so much as a single whack. Oh, I couldn't handle all the yowling and bellowing. Oh, I wouldn't yowl and bellow. <laughs> oh, but I would, Jenny. But one more thing. If you boys decide to run away again, take me with you. <laughs> <laughs>